King by the Beatles from the uh, incredible Abbey Road album and I believe uh, John Lennon wrote this one. It's got some really gorgeous guitar parts in it and what I've done is I've kind of arranged them together, moshed them together to make it sound kind of full and complete on one guitar and I've even tossed in a few bass notes for uh, for color. Okay, It has no less than 12 chords in it and uh, some great little melody licks and lines as well. Okay, so here we go. We start off on the fifth string at the second fret, and I'm using my ring finger for this to slide up to the fourth fret. So picking it twice, and off we go. And then I'm barring across the G string and the D string at the second fret and you want to hold all those notes together it makes an inverted a chord c sharp e a and then slide back to the second fret from the ring finger and i include the open e string in that because it makes it sound nice and full place your pinky underneath your ring finger on the d string Grab a couple of McCartney's bass notes. Swing up and hit the top string, the sixth string, open. Heading back to the D string for three notes. Top string open. Using your ring finger again, slide from the second fret to the fourth. Second fret on the A string. And then we're forming an F sharp minor seventh chord, okay? Uh, there's a lot of bar chords in this song, so uh, hopefully you're pretty handy with bar chords. Um, if not, it can be a bit of a challenge, but a good challenge, right? Okay, once you have the chord in formation, we're going to pick out a little melody. So, holding the chord in position, we're playing the first string, the E string, then the B string, the second string, and on the B string, using the pinky, we're grabbing the fifth fret. And then in between that, we're playing two notes from the chord. So you play that three times in a row. Then we play the first three notes of the chord, the E string, the B string, and the G string. And what I do is I just sort of gracefully hit the chord and slide it a whole step. And once you get there, upstroke to emphasize the E string, downstroke to emphasize the G string. And this is an E6 chord, which you can see on the, uh, the tab in front of you. You rake across the chord subtly, and you come back and you hit the D string, the G string, and the B string. And then we do that lick again that was at the very beginning of the song. And 
then I've added uh, a few of McCartney's bass notes here to make it sound full. So that's the fourth fret on the top string, the sixth string, the open A string, the second fret on the A string, and then the top string open. He actually goes straight to the F sharp note uh, because he can, <laughs> and he's the bass player. Uh, but for this arrangement, it sounds really nice uh, to lock back into the chord. Another bass line from McCartney, second fret on the D string to the fourth fret on the top string, the sixth string, open A string, and then the second fret on the A string. We lock back into the F sharp minor seventh chord. And what I do is I hold down the whole chord so that the bass note, the bottom end of the chord, keeps ringing through. And then I'm sort of gently sweeping across the first four strings from the D string down. And then take those four strings, two, three, four, back to the E6 chord. the infamous riff again. But this time, instead of going, we're going to come off of the riff. And uh, this chord I'll just explain in the video. Uh, to me, this is just an octave to the E9 chord. It's an E major chord with a C sharp on the uh, first string. Your index finger is on the 7th fret on the A string, and then with your ring finger, you're barring across the first four strings. Okay, and then we hit a G9 suspended fourth, which is really a, a very technical name for a really easy chord. You're barring across the first five strings, at the 10th fret. Really cool sounding chord, kind of up in the air, if you will. And while you're in the chord, you pick out this little melody. So what I'm doing is I'm sweeping the chord lightly, and then it's the G string, the B string, and then with my pinky, I'm playing the 13th fret on the first string to the 12th fret, releasing that so I can sound the 10th fret, swinging up to hit the B string, and hammering to the 13th fret on the B string. Mm -hmm. 